my channel if you are new here. My name is Mara and I love all things yoga, but I also love a little bit of woo-woo, a little bit of candles and sandals. So yes, today is going to be a new moon sort of vlog showing you the things that I like to do. And yeah, it might be a little woo-woo, but it will be a lot of fun. Um, before we get started, I will just sort of keep you updated on what I have done so far. So it is a new, a new moon this evening. So what I like to do usually, if I have time, this doesn't always happen, when there's a new moon is I like to try and like clean my space. New moons are all about refreshing and resetting and starting over. So it's a really good time to just make sure everything's clean so you can feel a bit more inspired, but also just so things can be fresh. Fresh starts mean literally making things fresh. So I have spent the morning doing a bit of cleaning around my house and just getting things feeling less gross. I'm not gonna lie, it was a real mess. And then I actually thought it was the new moon yesterday because my phone tried to trick me. So I have actually done some of the things I would normally have done today, but I'm gonna show them to you again anyway. But I have already done a bit of a new moon intentions, which I will show you how I sort of think about making intentions. Actually, you know what? We can talk about that now. When I am thinking about making intentions, as you will know, if you follow me on Instagram, I do monthly intentions. So when it comes to the new moon, I don't always tend to make new ones because I do them at the beginning of the month. But what I do like to do is I like to have a look at my intentions, usually see how they're going, because the new moon tends to come in the middle of the month. So I can see how they're going, reflect on them, and then maybe add or change them. This month I've added a newer one just to keep it fresh, <laughs> but also because it really, really resonated with me. So yes, but we will talk a little bit more intentions later. So without further ado, let's get started. So this new moon is actually the new moon in Aries, which I'm not an astrology whiz by any stretch of the imagination, but we do know that a new moon in Aries is usually the time when it's the new astro astrological new year. So it is the first new moon of a new year. Um, when it's the new moon or full moon, I do love to listen to a, I think it's called the Lunar Lover podcast. I'll see if I can link it below, but I really love that. Um, she really explains everything and I feel like I need, I know what I need to do every time they come around. But yeah, this one is an important one because it is the first one of a new year. So hopefully, if we do the right things, we can have ourselves feeling fresh, but also I know that if you're watching this, you're not going to be watching it on the Aries new moon, but whatever new moon you are watching it on, they mean the same thing. It's about restarting, refreshing, and just sort of shifting anything that's not really with us anymore. So that is something just to keep in mind. Hello again. So it's been a little while, but I have got my jumper on because I've opened up all the windows and the doors in the house. I am just about to, not all the doors, not the front door, but the back door, and I'm just about to burn some Palo Santo. So I really like doing this pretty much every time I give my house a clean, um, but especially on a new moon because it is amazing for just sort of clearing any negative energy. And I know that sounds woo woo, but you're here for it. That's why you're on this video. So um, I like to keep the windows and doors open for this because the smoke is meant to come in and remove the negative energy but if you don't have the windows and doors open there's nowhere for it to go so making sure everything is open and I will just light this and go through the house and just allow the smoke to cleanse all the energy which is always really nice to do on a new moon because we're starting fresh I feel like I've said that a million and one times anyway let's do this ready to do a little bit of yoga. I actually did a new moon flow yesterday on Allo Moves, which is like a yoga platform that I subscribe to and it was good. I liked the ideas sort of behind it because new moon flows are always sort of slower, really introspective, thinking of like forward folds and I really liked the sort of idea of that. But to be honest, it wasn't my favorite class. So I think I'm gonna do my own version of a new moon flow. So I will pop the camera up so I, and I can share a little bit of my practice with you. But I thought I'd touch base now because after my practice, I will do a little bit of meditation, whether that be Shavasana or Sita meditation. 
and then I will pull an oracle card and start journaling. So I thought maybe I'd show you the oracle cards that I have. Um, I'm not sure which one I'll use today. And then, yeah, but I probably won't touch base with you straight after yoga because I need my zen to do my journaling. But I will, of course, share some clips of that. So yeah. So I'll just quickly show you my oracle card stats before I flow. So I have both of these ones. I simply bought them because they were both absolutely beautiful. I couldn't decide. I always try and leave like selenite crystals on them just to keep them like pure. Selenite's very good at getting away of negative energy. So it's just to protect them. But yeah, they're not the same as tarot cards. They're just like cards that can give you really nice messages. And the artwork is stunning. And I've used this one quite a lot. I started off using that one. And then I've been using this one a little bit more recently. And I just love them for no other reason than sometimes a divine message comes to me but sometimes it's just really lovely to see the artwork and it helps me to journal I'll quite often use them to sort of inspire my journaling and then I've got my journal there to make sure I do it straight after I flow and I also journaled and picked an oracle card and I know we only started this mildly woo woo and I'm just going to take it to the next level but I picked an oracle card from the starseed oracle deck which I've only been using for probably like a few weeks maybe I haven't really felt like connected to it and I know this sounds super weird because like why would I be connected to a deck of cards but it's all about like the energy which everyone's vibrating on. I just haven't felt like any of the cards I've been pulling have been resonating with me, but I've been sticking with it because it's a beautiful deck and I feel like it is, I, I really like the deck. But today I picked the exact same card that I picked yesterday and I just don't feel 
like it's a coincidence because yesterday I was doing my new moon I did a new moon flow because I thought it was the new moon and then today I've picked the exact same one and it resonates with me so much and it's also so on the theme of the new moon and it's all about shifting anything that's unaligned or isn't serving me and I just I feel like it's a sign I know I said that I don't always look for a divine sign in these cards but I feel like this one was crazy but true but yeah I will link the oracle decks below because I absolutely love them but yeah I think that's been what my entire new moon intention this time around has been has been all about shifting anything that's no longer serving me and getting rid of anything that's unaligned and inauthentic so yeah I'm feeling good about it but other than that I think that's it for today's video I'm probably going to spend the evening just taking it slow um I had a really nice slow and like intuitive practice which was really lovely so I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the evening if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe below I'll also have my Instagram in the description because I post a lot more on Instagram and yeah if you have any other suggestions please either message me on Instagram or put them in the description below this was a suggestion and I absolutely loved it so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>